In Africa, it is only one country that has legal abortion, and that is South Africa. The rest of the countries do not uh, have legal abortion. This is reflected actually by our culture and our values. Even though the laws, we would still be, be we still believe that uh, uh, a baby is a blessing. Our religion uh, also dictates that we should not kill a baby. So today, I can confidently tell you that Africa is pro-life. But I want to tell you about uh, one of the very um, bad organization that is giving us a lot of headache in Africa. This is called Maristops, and they are headquartered in Britain. In Africa, in Africa, there are clinics in almost every city. And remember, Africa has uh, laws that are for life. Abortion is illegal. But Marisops have been offering abortion at $50. So uh, the first problem is that uh, we are facing very um, uh, very strong people with a lot of money and they are very influential. That is number one. And number two is that uh, on our side we have very few um, resources uh, like money. So it's a big uh, challenge for us. But um, we also trust in God for the same. Big organizations now have started taking the leftist side. They have started, um, you know, identifying very uh, openly against life, against family, against, um, you know, the values. I would be very happy if Mexico stands very strong as well, because we need to fight for the future generation. We need to fight for what is right. And I've seen a number of organizations that are doing very good work, like Red Family and others. We need to do more. We need to take action in parliament. We need to uh, vote for people who are pro-life. We need to throw out people who are against uh, uh, family values. To be very organized and also very prayerful, very strategic because uh, the other side is also very organized yeah and um, we have a very big um, duty ahead of us and um, we don't need to give up we need to fight every other time